Hi, Mumtaj. Good afternoon. Hi, sir. Good afternoon. How are you, Mumtaj? I'm good. How are you doing, sir? I'm good. Thank you. Mumtaj, you are which part of India? Sir, I'm from North part of India. I'm from Jammu and Kashmir, sir. You are Jammu and Kashmir. Yes. What is the weather now in the November? It's quite cold, sir. Quite cold? They started? Yes, sir. It's been raining and snowing here, sir. Okay. What is the beauty about Jammu and Kashmir? Uh, in Jammu, we have lots of temples. It's called City of Temples in Kashmir. You already know it's called Jannat of India, sir. Okay, Jannat of India. Of course, Jammu Kashmir yes, is Jannat of India. It's so strange in Mount yeah. yeah. So I was going your profile. So I, I thought, you know, we'll introduce you my team member that, uh, you know, our manager and uh, so is reporting. Uh, you'll be reporting to Lavan only. So we want to know more about Mamta Ajo, your education, your background, your introduction. So can you be the elaborate here? Yes, sure. Uh, sir, yeah. You already know my name is Mamta Ajahan, sir. I'm from Jammu and Kashmir. Sir. I'm BTA graduate and I have working experience of 1.7 years. And then my role and responsibilities in you. Uh, I, uh, I uh, communicate with the stakeholders along with my seniors. One of them is a requirement of data, sir. And after that, I have a handful of experience on Excel, SQL, and uh, and a visualization tableau. I have a good knowledge on Python, sir, too. And uh, during my uh, task, uh, what we do, we actually extract data from different sources using the SQL. And uh, we manipulate the data and like the data using Excel, using the real lookup formula, using advanced Excel, like uh, conditional formatting, we look up, edge lookup, index matching, and many more. And I like the data using the SQL commands like where we use uh, ranking function for that also, sir. And uh, after all this analyzing and visualizing, uh, after all analyzing and manipulating, we visualize the data using the tableau. Yeah, sir. Okay. Can you bit elaborate your project and what your involvement in that project? You mentioned that I'm done data management yeah, project. Yes, sir. the uh, project that I have done was on Power Analytics India. It has uh, it contained the uh, power analytics like generation, the power requirement, the power supply from the year 2019-2022, sir. During uh, by uh, analyzing this data, we can tell which of the regions of India or, uh, or the state of India is having more generation or, or the more demand, or which one is uh, getting less generation. And we uh, by doing that, we can uh, according to my data, what, what I have. Uh, done analyzing, uh, I can see that the there uh, that the generation in the countries like Maharashtra has more generation and the energy shortage is there is very less. So what we can do from these states which are producing more generation, more power, we can transmit that energy to different states which is producing less generation. Yeah, so. Okay. And we have done that using the. Uh... Okay. Yeah. Tell me something. Uh, that... Yeah, yeah. So the data that extracted was on based on power analysis. I took that from power generation in India, like uh, the power corporation of India. I took that data from there only, sir. From Wikipedia, from other sources, from different sources, we took that data and then we structured it into a proper manner using Excel and then analyze uh, like finding the maximum generation, and other things in the uh, SQL and analyze the data and visualize the data in the tableau as it, as it makes it easy for the stakeholders to understand the data visually. Yes. Okay. When you're telling data management, how to improve yes, data management for any company, if you tell nowadays, what is they are moving towards? Can you tell me what the, they are moving every companies on top of data management? I think that most of the companies are trying to to data governance, exactly. uh, getting the yeah the data governance is what they are doing right now, sir. Can you be to define what is data governance? What is the importance of data governance? Why a, a company require data governance? Yeah, so data governance is um, basically like setting the rules and policies. Like uh, it has four, you know, it gives us four main features that is the data should be accurate, the data should be have high quality, should be standard uh, sanitized, the data should be secured. These are the four main. Things uh, the data governor gave us, and doing that we can secure the data. We can improve the quality and uh, consistency of the data using data governance. 
Okay. In data governance, there is a lot of rules. Can you define what is the GDPR rule? Which so and I'm... what are the country they are following GDPR? They can't recall that right now, sir. Okay. And recently, India government. Yes. You know, yeah. they are introduced the new rules for data rules. Data. What are the rule names? Yes, sir. I'm about to, I can't recall that right now. Okay, no issue, no issue. Yeah. In SQL, you are using SQL view, correct? Yes, sir. What is SQL view? What are the advantage? Why you are using SQL view? The SQL view is nothing, just a saved SQL query. It is a virtual data. Using that SQL view, we can uh, we can reduce complexity of the data. Uh, we can inc increase the security of the data. Uh, for example, uh, if we are um, by increasing security, like we want the other uh, person that working on the uh, working on the data, we want them to only give the specific columns to work on. We can create a view for that. Yeah, so okay. this is how security will done, and it will okay. reduce complexity of the data, sir. Okay. What is the SQL it, Windows function? What are the different Windows function you use till date? Uh, okay, sir. The SQL window function we usually do with aggregate and ranking functions over the set of windows that over a set of rows. And order by clause is used with that. Uh, the ranking functions we use with that are ranking function used to assign a rank to each uh, each row based, uh, depending on the function that we use. The different ranking function we have, have is row number, we have rank. We have dense rank and we have end type. Okay. What is the difference between rank and dense rank? Yeah, the rank, uh, 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 if we assign a rank, it will it will skip a value. For example, if we have uh, in the results, uh, for example, if the person is getting 20 and 20 marks at the same time, it will assign one one rank to each and it will skip the second rank and it will again move to the three rank. This is what how rank will work. And dense rank will assign each rank to a, it will not skip any value. If we are signing one one to the first, it will the other th other third one will get two. It will not skip. Okay. What are the different libraries uh, used for uh, in your uh, daily task for Python's? Yeah, the libraries that I worked on was NumPy, uh, the Pandas, and the Metroid library. Uh, and the SQLearn also I used for linear regression model that I did. Okay. Okay. Can you please explain about you know what is the uh, different uh, Tableau family product? Uh, yes, sir, sure. Uh, so Tableau has uh, five products: that is Tableau Desktop, Tableau Online, Tableau Reader, Tableau Server, and Tableau Public. Uh, most of the development that we do work on uh, Tableau uh, Desktop, like uh, creating visualization, everything we do on Tableau Desktop, and the Tableau Server is used for publishing the report. Like if we want to send the report to the particular uh, particular person, then a uh, particular organization, then we have a Tableau server for that. And the other three will work the same way. The Tableau online will also use for this, like Tableau desktop, and the other three just for publishing the reports. Okay. What is it, you know, uh, when I'm telling Tableau has a different uh, section, can you bit explain Tableau, what are the different uh, section? Is that tab? And uh, which tab, what are the tasks you are doing? Tableau uh, section, you have to, uh, table section like mark card and all that you are talking about. Yes, the mark yes, card. Yes, show. Yes. Yeah, we have mark card, we have show me option, uh, we have uh, the option where we uh, dimension and the major option that is on the uh, left side of the table. Mm. That's what we sheet that we're working on. And the other things like the main formulas like we done is on the top mm -hmm. of the function. What is data blending in Tableau? And how it is different yeah. from SQL joins? So data blending uh, is same in this. We do joining of the data. Uh, for example, uh, if, um, uh, it is similar to the joins with the advanced version. For example, if in joins, we have data coming from the same source. For example, if we are getting data from Excel, we can join the data from the Excel only. But in data blending, if you want to make the report from different sources, uh, such as SQL, uh, Cloud, we, uh, Cloud, Excel, we can combine all these data using data, data blending. In data blending, we create a link between all these. And data blending okay. is in, in all. Yeah. Okay. What is, you know, SQL custom code? Why you are using SQL yeah. custom code? Yeah, 
uh, the XQL custom core will be available on the data section of the top data section of the uh, Tableau. It will be available only when we extract data from the XQL. It is used to write a simple and small queries, just like we write in the XQL. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, uh, uh, we have a few more points we'll discuss. Uh, What is it, you know, what, are, what is the difference between data warehousing and a database, Mamtaj? Uh, in data warehousing, what we do in data warehousing, uh, in data warehousing, we uh, we try to uh, we try to connect, we try to analyze and connect the data from heterogeneous sources. Hmm. Like it is like a code of a BI tool, like for data analysis and data profiling. Uh, in database, uh, in database, we just uh, store the data. It's like a uh, it's like a collection of the data stored structurally mm -hmm. uh, like on a computer system. It is a very different kind of source we are getting data from. Them. Okay, okay. Oh, do you have a knowledge of any cloud tool, or can you bit explain what are the different cloud tool you use? I don't have any uh, knowledge of cloud tools. Okay, okay. Fine. But I can learn if, uh, if your company asks me to. Okay, okay. You are ready to take a new challenges. Okay. Yes, uh, yes that's true. Do you consider yourself a success? Yes, I consider apart from appraisal, I have earned a good colleague, sir. So that is success for me, sir. Okay. What is your strength? I'm a, I'm a team player, so, and I try to learn thing, things. Uh, to what is your next uh, yeah. roadmap for next five years? If you're, you're allowing to join our company, what is your uh, next planning for next five years yeah. from now? Sir, I will, uh, I will try. Sir, I will. Uh, I I like to be on management position, taking a broad in education for the company, sir. Okay, you will you will be management position. Great. Yes, sir. I think Mamtaj, I done from my end. Do you have any question for us? Yes, sir. When can I join, sir? And can you brief me about the project that you are interviewing for? Yeah. So by next, uh, you know, uh, round we are proceeding for your profile. So going forward, I will will you know will give the clear picture. All right. Oh. Okay. Sir. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm.